what is yoga for you and how come that you are still on this path? So helpful. Well, first of all, um, my feeling is that the path chose me. So because of circumstances, because of certain people I met, it just sort of happened kind of naturally. And it happened so strongly that um, it's, it's not even a feeling of being on something. It's just a natural part of my life. And um, what's yoga? Yoga is, for me, uh, it's hard to describe. It's, it's such a big kind of experience. So maybe I would say like, Yoga is the essence of life itself. And the essence of life is that place, for me, which is the source of everything that's good in life. So everything that has human value comes from this place. So for me, that's what yoga is. Yoga is the source of everything that is has a certain kind of goodness, certain kind of purity, certain kind of power in life, internal power. Why is Ashtanga Yoga? Again, Ashtanga Yoga is um, a path, it's a discipline, it's a practice that basically chose me. So when I met Ashtanga, it basically produced such an impact, such a feeling, that it was like... Um, being swallowed up by something. And it had such a profound effect on me, such a such a, an amazing feeling that it basically took over my life and you know I went so deeply that again you know my relationship with Ashtanga Yoga is not one that's like with an external thing it's kind of it's more something deeply internal so again it's not something that I really have to think about whether I do or not it's just a part of me and the third one is why there are so many misconceptions about Ashtanga, so many injuries, and why people don't come to Mysore classes? Because they are kind of dependent of the teaching. Um, you know, anything in life that has great power to it is a source of great misunderstanding, right? It's a source of usually a great amount of um, divisiveness, a great amount of conflict, a great amount of suffering comes from these areas of life that are particularly powerful, that in essence have certain kind of you know, energy to them, I guess you could say. So you take things like religion, or you take things like sex, or you take something like money or politics, all these different areas of life, by their very nature, have extra sort of power or energy in them. And so as a result, it takes a while for people to come to a deeper understanding of it. If you only have superficial understanding, then it's going to look, at the very best, very confusing. And at the very worst, it actually begins to look destructive. So it's just a function of um, meeting it. And depending on the person, the stage at which they're at, if they're ready to really um, seek to understand it, that's the first thing. But when you seek to understand it and you peel back the layers, then this kind of like negative or destructive side begins to um, fade away and what reve gets revealed in the end is it's kind of more pure power, it's more pure beauty. So, you know, as with anything with great power, it's not for everybody, right? And people, I think, intuitively and instinctively know if it's a practice that's meant for them. Otherwise, it's just stay away. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a very, very specific, very, very intense practice that is only for a limited number of people. Um, I think it just takes time for people to understand, you know, how to basically build a healthy relationship with the intensity and the energy of the practice. So it's kind of like there's different kind of tests or challenges along the way that basically ask you if you're ready to proceed to the next level. Um, Mysore is a particularly powerful form of practice and um, again 
um, it takes time to build the kind of understanding, the kind of preparation that's needed to enter into it fully. So it's kind of, by its very nature, it has kind of like a, a wall or a gate around it that checks you at the door to see if you're ready. If you're ready, then you can easily enter. Otherwise, it'll keep you outside. But I think the people who are ready, once you build that understanding about the practice, you have uh, an appreciation for um, the real power and the beauty of the Ashtanga practice, and particularly of my source style practice. Swasti Prajabhyaha Swasti Prajabhyaha Palipadeyantam Sukino Babantu Sukino 